Hello everybody, welcome to UFC I'm Akos Fenchon and this is a name which you will like, comment, subscribe. It's you again, it's me again, we are here. Thank you guys. So yeah, guys, just an update from the time that I updated, updated you where I told you that uh, the management said that you can't have everyone that you want to add. You can't have the entire ticket team that you want to have. We're only going to allow you to come with two people three with yourself included so we are giving you three spots and then we're gonna keep few members from the technical team either you take it or leave it because it looked like that it looked like they were saying that either you take it or you leave it because like now they've been developments and developments and this is why i'm here to update you and he did confirm because he had an interview santos he did have an interview with so color to my way he said that yes indeed Kesa Chiefs, they did approach him and then we've been hearing of late that the deal is collapsing. Some are saying that already it has collapsed. Some are saying that it's already like the walls of Jericho. It has collapsed. There's nothing that's going to happen. Why are they saying so? Because there's been another coach who's been uh, brought in the picture now. I'm going to tell you more about that um, updates as well. But for now, Santos. And like, let me tell you this. The media will keep on writing and writing and writing and writing. And you might hear Pierre, Pierre Spin from Keza Chief saying that we never spoken to Santos. And you can tell that's a lie that they've never spoken with Santos when they, his agent has have, have been to Naturena and he has spoken to the management. So they can spin it all that they like because they like to protect themselves even if they fumble because it seems as if they fumbled this deal it looks like they fumbled this deal that's why this deal is collapsing then you will hear rumors that no they did not agree with santos because santos was uh requiring or he he asked for like a big and a huge chunk of salary he wanted a big salary he wanted to be one of the best earners here in south africa you'd hear those rumors because why there will be PR spin trying to change and twist this thing uh, to the positive of Keza Chiefs. Because there's no positive, there's nothing good about this, that they dragged this deal until now. The season is finally over. There's no competition except uh, the, what you call this, the playoffs. The playoffs for those that you are going to be promoted to. The PSL, but there's nothing that is happening that is like delaying Kesa Chiefs from finalizing any deal at the moment. <clears throat> Sorry, but you'll hear that hey, no, we're waiting for this, we're waiting for that, hey, this and this and that. So at the moment, I can safely tell you guys that the deal is collapsing if already it has not collapsed. Why it has collapsed? It's not because of the high demands, but Kesa Chiefs, Kesa Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs, Kaiser Chiefs, they're interested in another coach. Yep, they're interested in another coach. But I can say to you that already Kaiser Chiefs are late. Let's say that they would say, no, hey, you know what, we saw, we want to continue with this conversation. We want us to sit down again and drink that coffee and, 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 and eat scones. Kaiser Chiefs seems as if they can be late if they would then go back to Santos. Why am I saying so? There's a rumor that this coach Santos has already agreed verbally, verbally with the team from Morocco that he wants to join them. He's a free agent and he just won a league. He's a free agent, he has just won a league and this means that this coach is on demand. Remember that Simba wanted him and then this other team from Morocco as well wanted him and Keza Chiefs and he wanted to come to Keza Chiefs. Here's the thing, he wanted to come to Keza Chiefs. This story reminds me of Nazreddin Nabi where he wanted to come to Keza Chiefs and there he did not um, he did not agree with the contract extension with his team Yanga. And it's the same with this guy Santos because he said that no, I'm not interested to, uh, to, to, to have those contract talks because I'm leaving, I feel like I've done my best, so therefore I'm leaving. So he wants to go and prove himself elsewhere. And it's unfortunate Keza Chiefs are dragging their feet and now they are pulling like a rabbit out of their head. 
They're performing magic now saying that, hey, this and this and this. So the deal is over, one would say. I cannot say it's over until I hear another coach being announced. I cannot say it's over until another deal, until another coach has signed for us. Could be that it's over because this guy Weber has agreed with this Moroccan team that he wants to join them. But, 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 bringing you into this picture again, Nabi, Nabi is back into the mix. You hear this, Nabi is back in the mix. And I did not want to entertain this. I mean, it's been going on for days now. And I was like, I even said to one of my friends that, you know what? Uh, I think it's just rumors. It's just the media uh, just talking and wanting to sell their papers. Because we know, even if Kesa Chiefs can do so bad, but once they mention Kesa Chiefs in the media, then the paper will be sold. So, Nabi is back in the mix. Apparently, Apparently, there are so many stories when it comes to this as well. So, the story that I heard like of late is that Kesa Chiefs have met with Nabi and they have agreed terms. They have agreed terms. The only thing that they're waiting for is for this guy to play his last game or to coach his last game because we know that he's a point away from that coach who once played uh, coach uh, Orlando Pirates. So, they are competing there, like they are competing there, and yeah, the league would be over is it next week or next week. But by the end, what I hear is that, or what I've gathered is that by the 13th of next week, which is like Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, chances are Nabi would have signed if he finally signs because I cannot, they say, do not count a, 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 your chicken until they're all hatched. So we cannot just say that, hey, Nabi is gonna sign because we had agreed then, and then last minute, Kesa Chiefs pulled another magic or another trick and said that no, you should take this one, you cannot take this one, no, uh, you cannot touch Zwane and whatnot. Hey, yeah, Kesa Chiefs, they can just make us to look like we are fools, or they can make us as, uh, look like as if we are uh, uh, cartoons, like, yeah. They can just make us as if we are like kids, small kids. Like even now, I don't trust them that they can finalize this deal. But there's a rumor that uh, Dr. Kaiser himself is the one who's negotiating this deal with uh, Bobby along him negotiating this deal with Nabi. They are rumors that he's just folded his sleeves and says, that, okay, you know what, Nabi? Come, let's talk, doctor, because I see that my boys are failing. I just want to put in this one because uh, next day is going to be the one that you'll be dealing with. But for now, come, let's talk. Let's finalize this. That could be true. But, 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 with Kesa Chiefs, you'll never know. With Kesa Chiefs, you will never know. With Kesa Chiefs, you'll never know. But yeah. At the end of the day, just to conclude this video, I just want to make a short video and then I want to do another one just to tell you what are the three things that Nabi uh, or why is Nabi the best candidate to case coach Kesa Chips. But for now, I would say to you, back in the mix, Nabi is leading. It's like that horse race. It's this one. It's that one. It's that one. So, in just in summary, Santos has agreed verbally verbal contract with the team from Morocco because Kesa Chiefs did not they did not agree with Kesa Chiefs. And then Nabi's back in the mix and he's gonna come uh, to Kesa Chiefs by next week. By next week he's gonna sign by next week. But also let me just say this. Also I don't know how true is this that he's not gonna come with his entire technical team. That's another thing that I hear. But you never know guys because media can just sell you things that are not there. But there's a rumor that as well. I think as a Chiefs, they are playing a hardball here. They're trying to save up some money here. Because the rumor says that Kesa Chiefs are not going to uh, give him the entire technical team. And he has agreed. It's a rumor, guys. It's not me. It's a rumor. I'm reacting to the news. The rumor says that he has agreed that he's going to work with few of the people if not one from the current team i don't know how true is this because we heard then that keza Chizu is prepared to support any coach and give him all the entire 
uh, technical team that he wants to work with. But by the look of things, it looks like he still, he still wants to keep Shepard because they're forcing Shepard and Sosan Sos anyway. But we'll see. But for now, I think any coach that will sign will be a coach who has agreed to the terms. What are the terms? It looks like at the moment, Keza Chiefs are not prepared to do uh, a technical team overall. They want to keep one or two members in that team. Why? Because they can't be paying $5 billion for Manabi, for example, and then also paying these guys off their contracts. It looks like they're trying to save costs somewhere. But that is what is happening. And also, this then touches on another story of Mark Macab, the agent of so many players here in South Africa. So, Kaiser Chiefs have been in talks. Kaiser Chiefs has been in talks with Mark Macab's agents, which means those are the players of Mark Macab's. So, Kesa Chiefs are interested in signing other players, but Mark Macab came back and said that indeed Kesa Chiefs are asking my players, they are making requests about my players that they want to sign those players, but the only standing block is that they can't sign until they have a coach because that seems to be what is delaying Kesa Chiefs from signing players because there's no coach at the moment. They look, it looks like Kesa Chiefs, one which is positive is the fact that they, are, they want to sign players, which is positive. And then two, it then means that the reason why they can't sign players at the moment, because it looks like they want to wait for a coach to sign, for them to sign players. It looks like that. I'm not saying that's the best way of doing business, but it looks like. It's what they want. They want to wait for the coach to come and then sign the players. It looks like that. So if that's the case, that means that we're not going to sign any players until from next week we start hearing. But the positive thing is that they have like players that they're looking for. That's a positive thing. It's not like under Johnson. Johnson says that, hey, guys, I don't need any player. We can work. I can work with what I have. Then he finished where he finished now. But anyway, guys, so... I'm just touching on the last story to just say and show you the replica effect of Kesa Chiefs not signing a coach early. That, it, that it then it makes us not to sign players early. I don't know if you get me. So, us not signing players early, who knows these players? They can be snatched uh, in front of Kesa Chief, Chiefs' uh, nose. They can be snatched just like that because, I mean, they can't, they can't sign anyone until the coach signs. Just wanted you to uh, know this so i'm giving you updates on what is happening so yeah guys that is the current updates and then i want to do another episode please stay tuned just so that you don't miss uh these episodes or me dropping these episodes please just subscribe just subscribe another thing that you must remember or for those of you who are coming here uh, for the first time or those of you just recently joined i do not record every day i record every second day so i can't record every day because of other things that i'm involved in like being a father being a husband i can't record every day but also i need some time off i don't know how other guys are doing it, but probably it's because they are single i don't know but yeah in any case i don't record every day i record every second day so i was supposed to drop this video uh yesterday which is wednesday but i'm thinking that i'm gonna drop it like i have to drop it like today but just bear with me that for now i'm pacing myself with work as well it's a lot but yeah guys i'm out fc of course for love you yeah Sanele. bye